This video will show you a simple way to make crushed objects animations in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. In the description of this video, I've already put a link for you to download the Ken model we are using for this tutorial. When you open Blender, first go to File then click on Open and browse for the Ken model file you've just downloaded. Click on Open to open it. Now come to the Object Data Properties and under Shape Keys click on this plus icon twice to add a basis and a first key. Come down to Value and increase it to 1. Now switch this window to Sculpting. Select the Draw Sharp brush and make sure that this minus sign is activated. Now start sculpting over the object. To make even nicer deformations you can adjust on the strength and size. Sculpt it well to really look like a crushed can. After making your deformations, select this scrape brush. Make sure that this minus sign is activated. Reduce on the radius and sculpt over some areas with ugly deformations to somehow smoothen them to resemble crushed metal. Select the draw sharp brush again to add even more deformations. After making more deformations, select the scrape brush again and sculpt over some areas with ugly deformations to somehow smoothen them to resemble crushed metal. Now select this grab brush then use it to make major deformations according to your liking. Select the draw sharp brush again to add some more deformations to make it more realistic. Now that you're done with it switch back to the layout. Now if you drag this value back and forth you can see the deforming transition. Leave it to zero and expand on this timeline. Make sure you are on frame 1 then click on this dot to add a keyframe. Come to frame 100 and increase the value to 1 then click on this dot again to add another keyframe. Now you can reduce the frame range to 100. Now if you play it you can see it deforming. If you switch to the material preview you can see the result looking good. So click on this camera icon and press N, then go to view then activate lock camera to view. Give it a nice camera view then deactivate lock camera to view. You can now go to the render preview then work on your scene further and render. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.